So let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy S8 display burn-in. Should you be worried? The Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus displays have come under fire a couple times since their release. Once because of an issue with red color bias, and another time with regards to burn-in problems. When this occurs, an outline of the image can remain burnt into the screen, even after the screen's been turned off or replaced with a different picture. It's an issue which can be found on almost all displays, though modern technology has gone some way to reducing it. Now on one of its support pages, Samsung says that you shouldn't have a static image on a display when it comes to LED displays for more than two hours. But this was in relation to LED TVs. So it's not exactly a light for light comparison, but for simplicity's sake, let's say that this also applies to smartphone displays. In the case of the Galaxy S8, the device makes use of an always-on display, which means certain portions of the screen remain illuminated even when the device is locked. This includes the phone's clock and its software home button. Although the always-on display can be switched off or scheduled to switch off at a certain time, it's possible that it could remain present on screen for several hours. So, if LED burn occurs when static images on AMOLED screens are displayed over extended periods of time, the S8 and S8 Plus displays must be particularly susceptible to this issue, correct? No, not exactly. The Samsung Galaxy S8 shouldn't experience burn-in problems from the always-on home button because it's designed to move very subtly so it's not in a static position for too long. This was recently corroborated with the Galaxy Club fan site. Now this is a common trick to avoid burn-in. The Galaxy S8 clock also moves, and Samsung released an update for the Galaxy S7 always on display so that its contents could shuffle in small increments also. While reports that burn-in has affected the S8 display suggest this doesn't work, it's also possible that it does work on millions of other devices out there, and that the couple or so devices that were affected are rare exceptions. Now please notice I said possible. It's too early to tell, but we will keep monitoring that. You also wanna remember that always on display is not exactly always on. The home button is part of the always on display, but it's not actually always on. It switches off when you enter certain apps, and it is even temporarily removed when you hit the unlock screen. Even if you happen to be doing something that regularly requires a lot of on-screen time, like reading an ebook or watching Netflix, the navigation bar where the home button is situated gets turned off. Thus, the times when a smartphone screen would happen to produce a static image for extended periods, think hours, are pretty uncommon, and you have to try to do it. Really try. So I want to know, have any of you new S8 or S8 Plus users experienced burn in on your screens? Have you had any problem? Please let me know on the Twitterverse or in the comments below. Now, if you are a developer or an aspiring developer, code is your world. You create it, tweak it, and lovingly obsess over it, so picking the right repository management tool is super important. That's why our sponsor at Atlassian created Bitbucket. Bitbucket is the Git solution for professional teams helping over 5 million developers build with a purpose. Bitbucket gives teams of all sizes free private repositories with state-of-the-art features like the world's best pull request algorithm, built-in continuous delivery, and integrations with your favorite tools like Docker, AWS, and Azure. And because Bitbucket comes from Atlassian, you get the best Jira integration available. Bitbucket is for the code that takes us to Mars, decodes the human genome, or drives your next car. Visit bitbucket.org forward slash for the code to start your free account. That's bitbucket.org forward slash for the code. Try Bitbucket today. What will your code do?